Oh. You do know there's a vacancy in Meath. Yes, Mr. Colm O'Rourke has gone. They're looking for a new senior football manager. And guess what? Uh, I have a guest in studio who could be quite interested. Eugene from Old Castle. Welcome to Late Lunch. Jerry, how are we? <laughs> I'm really good. Well, you have the Meath jersey on. You look ready to go. Are you interested, Eugene, in this job? I am, I am, I am. Like, you know, enough is enough, Jerry. at this stage. Like, things were going bad and we got used to being, you know, being bet by Dublin and that, they are a phenomenal team, but when, when news, when loud bells. <laughs> Finally, when loud bet me, that was it. <laughs> Atrocious it was to watch now. And I said, that's enough here now. We need to get all the old stock back. I even have the key pack jersey on me here today just to bring us back to glory days. I have the 1996 All Ireland final on it. You remember what happened that day when a ball hopped around the square uh, in front of the hill? There was boxes throwing. Colm Kyle was doing his best, Mr. Miyagi kick you've ever seen. No that anymore, Jerry, and I want to bring that steel back to the Mead team. So you're in, you're applying for the job. You want this job as Mead senior football manager, Eugene? I am, I am, I am. I rang Barney Allen and he didn't answer and I rang him again. I said, Barney, I know you're not the head man now, Barney, but I'll tell you one thing. You give me a state-of-the-art John Deere, brand new, and I'll take the Mead job. <laughs> And I'll do every bit of harvesting around, all around me, all around North me. I'll do all the harvesting you want, but I just want the me job. And there won't be anyone from that Ashbourne or a coat or anything in place. It'll be all just North bog men with hairy shoulders coming down from the hills, and they will burst, lads. <laughs> Cow shite in the boots, the whole shebang. <laughs> I just can't wait for you to get the position. I think you're the man for the job. You'll bring back the glory days for sure. Well, I tell you what, I'm not guaranteeing we'll, we'll win a match, but I guarantee you, lads will know they played against Mead. We might only finish with six or seven lads on the field after every game, but it'd be a bit of pride back in the jersey. <laughs> You have your man Sam Maru there strutting his stuff for freeze. He won't be long strutting his stuff when he gets a box off a man from Ballon Loch. I'll tell you that for one thing. <laughs> so the steel back in the Mead jersey with the Mead players, you are guaranteeing it. And you're in there and you're going for the interview and you're all set. I'm going for the interview. I have 400 posters of Lick, Mick Lyon's face printed to put in the change room before every training session and Darren Fay is going to meet every lad with a shoulder on the way up before every single training session on any. So if anything else happens, we might win the football match, but we'll win a row. Eugene, thank you for joining me on Late Lunch this afternoon. It's been a real pleasure. An exclusive, Eugene from Owncastle. Up the Oilers! <laughs>